Hi everybody and welcome to another HydroSense isolation video. Now today in the Dawson household it's housework day and I've been so busy doing the dusting, the cleaning, the vacuuming and the mopping but it's also shower head clean and descale day. Now shower head clean and descale is particularly important if you have showers in your building and one of the problems with showers and other outlets or systems in your building is biofilm. But what is biofilm? Let's ask a good friend of mine, not a real doctor, Dr. Mark. Thank you, Mark. A biofilm is formed when layers of microorganisms, typically bacteria, combine and stick to each other. Together they form a tough, protective layer on a surface that encloses colonies of bacteria. Biofilm can be found on a range of man-made and naturally occurring surfaces such as rocks, metalwork, rubber and plastic, with an obvious example being a building's water system pipework and rubber hosing found in showers. In short, if there's a combination of moisture, surface and bacteria, this could be one species or several, biofilm can occur. Thanks not a real doctor, Dr. Mark. Now I know all you guys are thinking it, so I'm going to say it. Biofilm is pretty gross. So what do we know about biofilm? Biofilm acts as a home for bacteria and in particular Legionella. Now before we go and do our shower head cleaning descale, I want to do a quick demonstration using our HydroSense single swab test kit to see if we can detect Legionella pneumophila serogroup 1 in this shower hose. So the HydroSense single swab kit contains everything needed to carry out one test. And we also have a version which contains five tests. It includes the instructions, the swab, buffer solution, and HydroSense. We are going to take the swab out of the packet. And soak it with the buffer solution. Just like that. And what this is going to do, when we use the swab, it's going to capture any Legionella within the biofilm. We're going to disturb the biofilm by giving it a good swab. A surface area of 10 square centimetres. So we take this, the end of the, the hose, we take the swab, we put it inside and we swab an area of 10 square centimetres. Now I would say that was 10 square centimetres. We take out the swab and I'll give you a quick look. So it did go in white. And now it's not so white. Not very nice. We take the swab and place it inside of the buffer solution and break the red line. Once that's done, place the cap back on and give it a swirl around for 20 seconds. And as I mentioned, what this is doing is the buffer solution is trying to capture any Legionella pneumophila serogroup 1 that may be on the swab. Okay, there we go. Next, we take the HydroSense out of the wrapper. There we go. And we place it flat on the bench and inside the wrapper we have this pipette. Take off the lid and squeezing the bottom, this section here, we take one tenth of a mil by filling up this stem right here with this solution. Yep, that stem is full. We don't squeeze this reservoir, the middle section, just the top, just to empty the stem. Onto the first window of the HydroSense. Give it a squeeze to get all that solution out there. And there we have it. Now, 25 minutes later, we will have a result. In the meantime, we'll go and see our technician who will show you how to, de who will demonstrate how to carry out a shower head clean and descale. 
Hi everyone, I'm Technician Mark. So today I'm going to show you how to do a shower head clean and descale. Now it's very, very important to wear PPE because we are dealing with mild chemical used to clean and descale the shower. Now we've got eye protection, uh, chemical protection for our hands, and I normally wear a high vis on site. However, when I put it in the wash, it shrank. So I think for the purpose of the video, the protection that we're using, the PPE that we have is adequate. So we have a bucket of water and we need to add, um, dilute some of the chemical in, in the water. So we'll add the shower cleaning chemical in there. I think that should do it. Okay, and we put that somewhere safe. Next, we'll put our gloves on. And then we, we want to make sure that we don't lose any rubber washers on the shower. So just keep count of how many that we have. So then we've got the shower head and we place that inside the bucket. Now it might want to float, but just try and get all the air out of it. And like I say, we want to try not lose any rubber washers. Um, we'll give that a, a quick clean. I'll put in there for a second. And then we've got the hose. And we want to try and get that all that hose in the bucket as well. So we'll wrap it up a bit there. And just be careful that it doesn't splash on you. And then we'll put the chem put the shower hose in the solution. Okay. Now I like to use a brush for this next step. So we take the shower head and keep them in the bucket. Just give the shower head a nice scrub. Just try and take any any muck that's on the top of it. Okay, give them a quick swirl there. Give them a quick quick clean. Okay, we'll put that somewhere safe. Now we'll wait 15 minutes. And then we can take that out, give it a rinse off and get it fitted back on. Good times. So there we have it, everyone. We discussed biofilm with not a real doctor, Dr. Mark. I demonstrated how to use the high descent single swab kit on a shower hose. And then we had technician Mark demonstrating how to carry out a shower head clean and descale. Now be sure to like, be sure to comment and be sure to follow high descents.